What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the HSD Nation, where we talk everything trucking. We bring you first person, loading, unloading. And then we even give you videos on <clears throat> issues that impact the industry and the world. And that's what we got today. So, Cummins, a lot of you know, Cummins is a big uh, engine maker and you know, they're in the, the Dodges or in the Peterbilts or they're in a lot of trucks and a lot of cars. Well, now they're on a buying spree. And I'm not talking a little buying spree. On February 9th, Cummins announced a deal to buy Jacobs Vehicle Systems businesses from Ultra Industrial Motion Corps. The JVS system, that's what we call Jake Brakes. Like you got your Jake Brakes on your truck, that's the JVS. It's focused on engine retarding and valve actuating systems. So last year, it generated approximately $193 million. It bought that for $325 million. So they bought it for 325 last year made 193 okay um so now they have a facility in connecticut and a facility in china and cummins is saying they plan to invest in those two plants uh, nothing about building new plants or they're just going to invest and extend in those so it sounds like they're just going to take over the business and keep it running and now february 22nd they announced it, it is acquiring Mount Meritor in a $3.7 billion cash deal. You heard it, cash deal. So the, uh, the total transaction value at a price of $36.50 a share of the Meritor stock, that includes assuming the debt and net of acquired cash now listen to this the purchase price is 48 percent higher than the 2467 per share that meritor closed at on february 18th think about that stock was at 2467 they bought it at thirty-six fifty. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. In addition to commercial drivetrains, braking, and other truck parts, Meritor. Here's the kicker. Meritor also has moved aggressively into developing parts for electric vehicles, including axles and electric motors. And it says it. Electric expansion was a key factor in this deal. They should close this transaction by the end of the year. Now, it has taken Cummins 20 years to figure out the emission system. Like, they, I think they finally, finally have a decent motor with a decent DPF. Now we're going to go through all that with them trying to figure out an electric truck. Come on, man. Like, I, I get it. It's all about business. But the, the world is turning into big businesses. And it's been this way, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. Like, you just had Hirschbach buy out... Um, Christensen. And now you've got um, Cummins buying out these two companies within two weeks. Something's going down. I'm just saying. So, um, somebody knows something. I, I don't think it's going to crash anytime soon. Something big is going to happen. There will be, um, I believe there will be a push for electric trucks. Uh, because I, I don't see fuel going back down, honestly. 
it may go down to three, three twenty, but they got away with it. They're not gonna. We'll never see two fifty a gallon again. I don't think. I hope so, but I don't think so. Um, it's just my opinion. So big things to happening in the world, especially the transportation world. So we uh, we keep up on this stuff. We bring you guys all kinds of stuff like this. So if this is the kind of stuff you want to know about the country, the world, and what makes the world go round, this is the channel for you. So let me know in the uh, comments what you what do you think about Cummins buying these two? So now they make the engines. They're gonna make your Jake brakes. They're gonna make your brakes. They're gonna make your transmission because Meritor is their big thing. Um, they make transmissions and they make drivetrains. So now you're gonna have a Cummins truck from front to back. Uh, and Volvo does that. Volvo, you can get Volvo everything but Cummins I don't know man I, uh, I have reservations on it but let me know what you think in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of information like share subscribe hit that notification bell and I will see you tomorrow peace